boys today we're gonna go through the process of how to properly do i i jimmy jimmy it's the way that sushi should be prepared and now i'm a believer in it really cool to see that done for the first time hopefully you guys can learn something yep section is not for everybody uh it's food processing so if you like to eat sushi and you want to see how it's made uh it's for you if blood kind of eh, not your thing maybe you skip that section but nonetheless really cool um and really good fish the first trip is me and Alex fishing on a 33 Freeman, and these guys uh, found out the power of the yellowfin tuna. Uh, you'll see that they got whooped. They probably gave us the best and worst post-trip review ever. They were like, we had so much fun. It was an awesome time. It was great, but we're never doing that again. That was so much to handle. We're like, thanks, I think. But the following trip, we catch a really big one with some of our really good friends, and uh, it was a really good time. And uh, yeah. That's about it. Enjoy the video. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work out much. This, this, is, this oh. is a type of like muscle you never really you, you yeah. to work out. Keep that rod 90 degrees out for me. Yeah, bend in that rod, boy. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me a shot. Give me a shot. That new thing. That's the hardest part. It's holding it. It's oh, holding yeah. it. Mexican standoff. Nope. <laughs> nope. So you gotta start reeling it different than normal, and then we can pass her off. Ooh, careful. Nope, we gotta pass it off. You gotta reel it normal, hand on the handle. Yeah. That works too. Keep on doing that. That's that's gain line. Just little half turns if that's what you get. You wanna get back on? Uh go for a couple of rounds here. <laughs> oh yes. <yeah, so. laughs> Shake them out, boys. Shake them out. Does it got a sea monster? Got a sea monster on. Pretty powerful fish, huh? <laughs> yeah. Trust me, my back is burning too. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's not me. I see him. I seen him. Color. Good fish, guys. Good yep. fish. Nice. He's straight, he's straight across and super wide out. He's doing a little, oh, he's doing like a sh sharp turn and going way out, making a loop and then a short turn. Every fish does something different. They got their own little loop tees. <laughs> Perfect. Hold him, hold him, hold him. You want to pass it? Yeah. All right, this is probably going to be the last pass after this. I'll give them to you whenever you want. Drop and reel, drop and reel. Hold them steady, hold them steady. Drop and reel, drop and reel. Whoa, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. he's a lot bigger than I thought. I'm glad I did. I was. You got him good. Dude? Yeah. You sure. Yeah. You want me to stick him? Can. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah. One, two. Three. Woo! Big boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Awesome fish, man. That's a, that's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Gut hooked is it on the other He's side? He's gut hooked. He's gut hooked. Nice! Good work, boys. Nice. Alright, two hours later. 
The fish have not been cooperating, but here we go. I think we got a tail wrap fish right here, which is good because Alex has a under wrap in one of his reels, apparently. <laughs> but haven't you been fishing with this rod all day? <laughs> <laughs> no, I changed out because the other one had a, a fray in the line. <laughs> The best tail wrap fish story I've heard, aside from that bluefin that we caught the last day when it was like six foot at like two seconds in uh, Wanchies this year. Right so there's a crew trip on the- I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna help you out, okay. All right, let's see if that helps with the bend. So they did, uh, on the long range boat I was on, they did a crew trip with some of their best regulars. There was like, there was like eight people on the boat or 10 people on the boat, crew and all. And they went to Clarion, I think. And one of the guys who is now retired, he hooks a, a 270, I hooked it like right next to the boat on a, on a, on a tube, which is a, just like the, like the biggest sardine or not sardine, a uh, cigar money you've ever seen. They're like, you know, 18 inches long. Hooked it, runs a hundred feet, comes in tail wrap. It was like a one minute fight. He go, he went inside, put on a tuxedo, got on the bait tag, and threw bait for the rest of the trip. He didn't fish one more second. He put on a full tuxedo. He he would bring all. He would fill in some trips when someone needed a trip off, and he would all have all kinds of funny outfits. But he said they put on a full tuxedo huh. and stood on the bait bait tank the rest of the night. <laughs> But he said the next four days of them fishing, he didn't he didn't even touch a rod. A 270 tail wrap. Imagine getting a 270 pound tuna in, in like two minutes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think you might be tail wrap still. And down. Okay. Joe, if it is tail wrap, we need to be very careful. Yes. Help him out with the rod. I can't handle it. You got him. You got him. him. When y'all want to hop back on, you still do. Get that damn rod, boy. <laughs> Shake him out. What's he feel like, yo? I guess we're just I don't know. Yeah, tail beats. Maybe he's not wrapped. Huh? Maybe he's not wrapped. Maybe he's just hooked weird. No, it's he may have just came unwrapped. Yeah, he's swimming now. Y'all want to go at him again? Sure, I'll go. All right. All right. Okay, there it is. Yeah, come on. And real. And real. Swinging wide again. You're such a sporty. Down. <laughs> That's so goofy. Real, real, real. All right, there you go. Get the leaders in the reel. We got them. 15 feet left. You can do it. Real, real, real. Throw it down. And real. Nice. We're close, boys. Come on, right. Big left. You got. You should get him right there, Alex. Ooh, took some line. Never mind. All right, real, real, real. Scared him. Go down. Go down. Down left. Go down. Steady, 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 steady. Go down. Got him? Come pick him, Joe. Woo! All right. All right. That's a good one. It's a bigger one. Nice. All right. Thank you, <laughs> All right. Ready? Come on. Oh, big sickle ball. Yeah. Pretty one. Get out of there, boy. There you go. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, a couple days later, we got some EG men experts. So do what you did first. See this little spike right here? What's the point of the spike? It goes to the brain, correct? 
He's yes, already been that's stunned. Just, that's killing the fish. Yes. And then the next, you run a cord down its spine. What yeah, exactly does that do? Gonna, gonna bleed him real good. Bleed him. Right, lower right there. Nice. You can hit him right. No, 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 no. Do it right here instead of there. That'll ruin the meat. Right there, we'll uh, yeah, go a little bit deeper. Yeah. Watch your hand. Oh, we'll get you. You go a little. Did you get him good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. So that main artery goes all the way down, like the, the very center of the fish there. So Where'd you learn how to do this? Videos. Videos? <laughs> Just like YouTube videos? Yeah. Hey, maybe someone's going to learn how to do it through this video. How about that? Obsession of just taking yeah. care of the quality. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take long. So I bleed every single fish. Here you go. There's your wire. All right. All right. So the goal is hopefully if you hit it right. Go right down the spinal cord, huh? You go. You got to find it. Sometimes take a second. Got it. I'm gonna go to the tail. <laughs> there you go. You kind of get the idea. I got to reset. Joys of being a YouTuber that fishes. Next, next one we'll do. Yeah, there you go. Next one. Next one. Next one. Good. Stop. Big shot. Hunter pounder. Oh my god, I see pickles. <laughs> Those are not pounder pickles, dude. What do you mean? Yeah. It's way bigger than 100 pounds. I don't know when you need to jab on your ass. Yeah, y'all don't be standing on that line when I go throw that thing. Yeah, all well, we got leader. Jumbo, baby. <laughs> I can't see him right now. Still directly under the boat. Nope. Do not, do not. Alright. You gotta stop. We gotta walk him forward and stop. He's just he's just tailing the boat. Yeah, back to back to starboard, back to starboard. I'll tell you when he starts turning again. He just, okay. he's got him. You got him. You're good. You're good. All right, we good now, huh? Yeah. He was just, he was just riding the wave, you know? Yeah, no, 90 degrees out. I have you want to pass it? Yeah. He's out wide. Who wants it, Kevin? Who wants it? You got it. I got it for yeah. Whoever wants him, come do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to see if I can turn his head for you. Alex took the rod for a little bit, got a good amount of line back, and uh, eventually got his circle tighter. But we've been fighting this fish for a really long time, just kind of had him stuck right there. So eventually everybody got a piece of the fish on the rod. in <laughs> what you want to get on the belt a do i just see if we can turn yep. him a little bit break his spirit i'm i'm yep. like worn out right my back hurts. Uh, i can so do it i don't need a belt i'm not, I'm not trying to I'll give it three or four more pumps <laughs> God, I ain't like like that. That. Let me get back in. Let me get back in. I just want you. I got, I got, I got. We gotta get everybody's hand on at least one. I'm gonna get back in. I got too tired to keep them coming. I feel like it's just got to be fine. Well, someone, someone needs to rest up for a minute because what it is, once you get them coming, you gotta keep them coming. Everyone gets tired. Once you get them coming, you gotta keep them coming. <laughs> No, but you're right. There's multiple rounds. Like what Joe's doing. Yeah, let's go, Joe. Joe's keeping them coming. I think it's a little tiny. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, this is a mean one. Right Oh, he's 
different, baby. They're going back. Oh, Come on. Oh, man. Oh, shit. He's trying to go low. Hold on, keep that gap out the way for a minute. He's coming here. I'll let you know when it's on gap. Shoot him. Got him. Nice! Go! Good shot. Nice! Go! Nice. Good shot. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Keep it on the rod holder. Hey, you like that stick, yo? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, keep them going on that line. Don't hog them on that. I'll try to pull the boom on that hook. He's still fighting me on this. Get the gas right here, yeah. You see the gas, Abby? Yeah. Yeah. Hold this, hold this, hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Holy shit. Holy yeah, boy! Oh, let's go! Woo! Let's go! 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 Let's Oh, dude, I told you it was big. Fucking hell of a gaff shot or a dart what shot, so dart. Look at that dart. Dude, that's a dart shot. That's awesome. I can't believe he even ran after that dart shot. Yeah, go ahead. Get a spike and bleed him. Well, I'm saying, let's just kill him so the way this on board doesn't freak out. Right? Want to go back? Hold on, I'll show you something real quick. So you can kind of feel two little deals right there. I think on my hands, yeah, that's right right there. Right here, right here, right here. That's like a slot almost. Go straight back. You want to go kind of towards towards his tail, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Perfect angle. A little bit more flat. A little bit more flat. Dude, maybe this thing's not long enough. Uh, it might, no, it's not. Let me see real quick. Oh, that's it right there. No, yeah, I got him. It's right here. It's way easier to see than I thought. This little divot right there. Yeah, yeah, he got it. We got it. Right, watch out. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, boys. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Dude, that was sick. You ain't kidding. Look at that sickle ball. Sheesh! It's a long yeah, sickle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little sunset golden hour picture oh, action for you. Moose! It is a moose. That is epic. Can't get over how long his bottom sickle is. Yeah. <laughs> and one, two, three! Right. Ooh, wow. big sickle got you. You should have left the hook in him. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're cutting the tail. Need some raisin? No, I'm just trying to get it loose to where I can crack it. Oh, okay. And I know there's a way to like aim and hit the joint. It might just be right in between. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. You're going for that little down the membrane right there. So what exactly are you aiming for? There that, it is. That right there. Right there. All right, you watch the fins. Yeah. Oh. That is me quality right there. It's not even long enough. Let's try and go. It's too head. big. I think we got the real deal. Um, you want to gut him real quick so he doesn't, he's probably a little bit burnt filming. So what I do is just 
come around right there. I guess I'll flip it over real quick. Yeah, let's see. Lean the other side for you. Here, I'll flip it in. Uh, it'll be easier. There we go. Deal with over there too. Just like that. Come down here. Do the poop shoot. Just make a slit big enough for the hand to go through. Pull all these out. Break all the uh, attachments, etc. And if you cut it right the first time, you can just pull everything right out. I think I got it. Let's see if it's in the stomach. Oh yeah, we're gonna find it. You may have thrown everything out though because we fought them for so long. Oh, he's got stuff in the stomach. And that is how good sushi is prepared. So you can't flag this video because this is going to be sushi. Corn bellies. Corn bellies. Got the crack right there. Corn belly, horn belly. And that's it. Lots of yeah. horn bellies. We're gonna slush this box and then uh and then uh take the house. Gills off. No, we don't need to pull the gills, this is good enough. Alrighty boys, here we are. Eek Jime versus non Eek Jime. The one that we did Eek Jime on, if that's the way, is that the way I say it? Am I saying it right? So boys, here we are. Eek Jime versus just regular bleed and gut and uh, ice down. Uh, the one with Eek Jime has a little bit of better tuna color, more of that red, deep red color. Uh, this one's a little bit more rosy. We're gonna try it out. I don't know if it's gonna be a huge taste difference. I'm gonna just put a little bit of like a little dot of Chipotle, which I just spilled all over my laptop. That's awesome. Uh, just a little dot. Just to give it something else. A little more flavor. See? A little dot. Alright, I'm gonna do uh non Eek Jimmy first. Eek Jimmy, whatever. Hold on. Aikijimi. Aikijimi, whatever. Anyways, not Aikijimi. Uh, was good. But, uh, we'll see. I don't think this is the first one I, first tuna I know that I've eaten that's been Aikijimi. That's very good too. Um, I will say this, it's less gamey Plus fishy, so yeah, I guess in long term, especially in like storage, that would uh, affect a lot. I don't really mind like like a little bit of fishiness in my fish, but I can see how there's a lot of people that don't like any kind of fishiness at all. So that definitely it would be a huge difference of quality for someone that cares more about that. So yeah, that's a big difference, I guess. And I think that just from the gaminess flavor on the non-spiked one or the non-corded one that it'll probably stay a uh, better flavor for longer. So definitely uh, gonna be ordering a cord now, 100%. And uh, I probably, I just don't have time to do it on every single fish. I'm, I still bleed them and gut most of the like mid-sized fish. So like, are, we rarely have fish that are burnt um, and they're still really good quality But for the bigger ones, I'll probably do that on every single big giant like, you know triple digit, digit triple digit fish that we have but very interesting very cool um, Guys if you like this video, please subscribe. I got more big tuna content coming up uh, Yesterday we had one of the most insane days that I've had the most insane day tuna fish I've had since I've been here. It was electric uh, lots of bigger fish. Uh, we had nine uh, in like an hour. It was it was awesome. You don't want to miss it. So if that interests you at all, please subscribe. Love y'all. See y'all next time.